Fun feature. Be warned that your cabinet manufacturer may not appreciate this. Right now this tells me it's a base 18. If I pull a report, if I ordered this, it would order me a base 18, not a base 16. So, if your cabinet manufacturer does this, you would actually need to go into your global, not your global specs, your um, cabinet attributes, and you need to make a few changes over there so that they order you the right item. We're going to delete that before anybody orders the wrong item. I'm going to come back in here. I'm going to go back to my um, snap button here because that's the next one. Snap. Say I want to move this 18 inches over or this 18 over the 16 inches to my B B9. I just simply click on it. Snaps it right over there. Snap works as long as you're on a zone and you stay in that zone. I cannot snap it to this zone or this zone. It will only work right here. Um, stack, we'll look at that in a moment when we have some wall cabinets to stack. Nomenclature, move it, rotate it, default it, um, move, self-explanatory, move it off the cabinet. Uh, we will do that later on too. Rotate, self-explanatory, default. After you do all the, after you move and rotate, you can set it back to the way it was by default. Copy, we've looked at. Replace. Come in here. Say I want to replace this with a base 21. Just click my base 21 and I hit replace. And now I have a base 21 in here. Delete. We'll get rid of it. There's a couple ways to delete a cabinet. You can come in here and delete them. You can just highlight them, delete them. We're going to come back, drop my base 18 back in here. We are going to position it 30 inches from this guy because I do have a stove to fit in there. 30 inches over. I need a base 21 for this side of my room. Stick him in right there. And I'm going to need a sink base as well for this design. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to type in SB. And I know I need a big one, so SB4, SB48, pop him right in place. There we've got all of our base cabinets in place. Time to start with the wall cabinets. I'm going to start with a corner wall cabinet, and that is DW something. DW2736. Again, the more I enter, the smaller my list gets. I like small lists. Now, if you remember when I placed this, or when I did my, not place this, when I was in my design settings, design settings, over here, and construction, I had 84 inch top alignment. So, any of you crackpot designers out there, crackpot, how about just crack designers, hat, any crack designers out there may notice that I put a 36 inch wall cabinet in here, so it's going to be a little bit low. We're going to take a look at that in elevation in a minute. I'm going to show you how to up down from elevation. So we've got that guy in there. Going to come over here. And I'm going to do this the easy way because I find if I if I use from my tree when I'm selecting multiple items that are you know the same, like 30 inch high wall cabinets, it's a whole lot easier than being in find and having to type them in each time. You know, W2, W1, W3 to get all those. So I'm just going to set these here like this. This way I can just grab them as I need them. Use them on my design. So I'm going to drop this 18 inch in, incher in there. I'm going to drop another one over here. Now this one I'm offsetting. and I'm going to come and grab it here. I'm going to go to center. I'm going to click on my base 18 and we're centered right up. Now we're going to do an up, we're going to do a stack on this guy just for the moment, just for fun. So I'm going to come up here. I'm going to select my 12 inch high wall cabinets. I'm going to grab a a wall 18, 12 left, and I'm just going to drop it out here on the layout. I'm going to right click, going to choose stack, and I have the option of above or below. We're going to choose above. Now I'm going to choose the cabinet I want to stack above, and here we have it. Now let's take an elevation of this. Take a look. Got to see what we got going on here. So to take an elevation, we can come up here and click on our elevation button, and nothing happens. And there's a reason nothing happened. Nothing happened because we didn't have a wall chosen. We, we didn't tell Pro Kitchen what we wanted to elevate. So I'm going to click on this wall, highlights it blue, 
click my elevation button again, here's my elevation. Here's my low cabinet, here's my stacked cabinet. Well, I have it open, I'm going to elevate all of my walls here. Just for kicks and giggles, makes it easy. I only have to do this once per design. So now you can see I got tabs up here, tab one, tab two, and tab three. Now if you've got a big design, it may be hard to remember what's in each one of these tabs. So you can right click and go to edit view. Now I'm going to change the name of this to window, window wall. Here's my window wall. There we go. You see it changed up here. Makes it much easier to sort through multiple catalogs or multiple, ha, huh, Man, I got catalog in my head for some reason today. Multiple elevations. Here we're going to right click on this because we need to do our up down. And I'm going to choose up down and it's going to slide up and down with my mouse. Now I can come in here and I can line it right up, sort of kind of, or I can just come over here. I know that a 54 or a, a wall cabinet at 54, if you add 36 to that and a 96 inch height, I've got six inches left over on the top. So I can simply type in six here. Don't worry about the bottom measurement because, frankly, I don't care. I'm going to hit 6, hit enter on my keyboard, and it automatically set the bottom measurement for me. Here's our stack cabinet. Nice and easy. Now I'm going to close my elevation. Now if I want to go in here and get my elevation again, there's no need. And please don't highlight your wall and click elevation. If you do, oh look, elevation 1. Elevation 4 are the same. Right click, delete tab, it's gone. Close my elevation again. All I need to do to view my elevation from here, if it's been closed, is click my elevation tab. And I can scroll through them. Okay, there we go. So, we're down here, we're getting pretty close to a, having a kitchen in here. So I'm going to place a couple more cabinets. And I'm going to stick a 15 inch over here. I am actually going to stick another 15 inch over here. But I'm not sure where it's going yet, so I'm just going to drop it right about there. So it's kind of out of my way. Whoops, and those are 12 15s, not 30 15s. It, 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 see, it, pays, it helps if you pay attention to what you're doing. Spend less time worrying about what you're saying, more time about what you're placing in your design. Okay, there we go. I need a cabinet for over my stove, so I'm going to grab one of those. That's just going to be an 18 inch high for what I'm doing. 3018, drop it right in place. Come back in here, and I need a cabinet over my refrigerator, so I'm going to do a 3321 over my refrigerator. There we go. Now this guy, I know I need an up down, so I'm just going to click on him from here. I don't want to take the time to open an elevation. Up down. I want this guy to be six inches from the ceiling again. Enter on my keyboard, and there we have it. All right, one more cabinet. We're only one cabinet away. One wall cabinet away. 36 incher, and I need a 27, I believe, for this. Drop it right there against the wall. Very good. Drag that guy right over to it. And I know I need to up down this guy as well, so up down, six inches, or I could have hit 54, and what am I, it says 48. There we go. Okay, here's my basic kitchen design. We want to place an appliance in here, so click on my appliances tab, and I'm going to choose range to start with. Range to start with, electric ranges. And I'm just going to grab this guy right here and click on place. Drop it right in place. I'm going to close my range. Now refrigerator, I need to put in a refrigerator. We have refrigerators in here in two places. If I click on the plus, it's going to bring up all of the sub-zero type built-in refrigerators. I'm going to close that. If I click on the, on the words refrigerator, it pulls up all of the regular refrigerators. And I'm just going to choose the very first one here. And I'm just going to set her in there, something about like that. So she's kind of centered. It's not real important in this design to have her exact. And I'm going to click Cancel. I need a sink and a faucet. So we're going to come over here, sink and faucet. Got lots of bath fixtures in here. We're not going to go through them. I'll let you guys do that. You've got to leave something in here for you to, to discover. Sinks, 
two bass and sync and I'm just gonna grab that guy and place and I'm not gonna worry about getting him centered or anything I'm just gonna drop him in there something like that come back to faucets and I'm gonna choose I think this faucet maybe there we go that's a nice looking one and I'm just gonna drop him in here about like that as well cancel right click on my sink now you'll notice this this is a nice feature if I right click here it's going to bring up everything underneath my mouse it doesn't matter where you right click in Pro Kitchen it's gonna bring up everything underneath your mouse if I move my mouse through the list you notice how it highlights the particular item this makes it a lot easier and a lot less confusing when you have stacked items and stuff like that so I'm gonna go to my sink bay, my, my sink, not my sink base. Hit center, click on the cabinet, and there she's centered up. I'm gonna do the same thing with my faucet, just center, and I'm just clicking on the cabinet. I could click on the on the uh huh the sink here, or I could click on the window because all of these items are centered under the same place. So I'm just gonna click there on the window. There we go. My my nomenclature here is a little bit hard to see, so I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna go to nomenclature and move. And I'm just going to set it right out here, just a little bit out so it's off. Not going to have my countertop line running through it. We've got a basic kitchen. We're not quite done with it, but we've got a basic kitchen. We're going to come in now and we're going to do a couple modifications to some cabinets. We're going to right click here. I'm going to go to my wall 3321 and I'm going to go to attributes. Here are my attributes. I can come in here if I want to and I can change